Just days after Coronado PD refused to reopen the investigation into Max Shackney's death, his mother Dina took her fight to the Coronado City Council this afternoon. 10 News reporter Preston Phillips is in Coronado with what she told the council her son deserves. Well, Dina Shack and I spoke for about four minutes today during the public comment portion of the Coronado City Council meeting. She also provided the City Council with a packet of information she hopes will eventually lead to the reopening of her son's case. It's been a little more than 14 months since Dina Shackney's six-year-old son, Max, passed away after an alleged fall from the grand staircase just inside the Spreckles mansion. Since Max's case was closed and ruled an accident, Shackney hired two world-renowned experts to conduct an investigation that would last nine months. As the mother of a dead child, I believe I deserve, he deserves, more than a three-sentence note declining my request to reopen the reinvestigation. In the nine-month investigation, biomechanics expert Dr. Robert Bove found Dr. Mark Gomez's report for the San Diego County District Attorney's Office as being inconsistent with Max's injuries, stating in part, impact with the railing, even at fast running speeds, would therefore not result in a fall over for someone of Maxfield Shackney's stature due to the location of their center of gravity below the top of the railing. Dr. Bove also points out what's said to be a major flaw in this incident diagram, which depicts Max Shackney being being several inches taller than he was in real life, giving him a different center of gravity with the railing on the mansion's grand staircase. Case, and I promise and give my commitment to the community that I will leave no stone unturned to find out what happened to Max. In the end, Dr. Bove agreed with Dr. Judy Melanick's findings, the other expert hired by Shackney. Both experts agreed that Max, my six-year-old son, was the victim of an assault scenario which culminated in a homicide. But in the report, Shaq Nye's expert Dr. Bove chooses not to take a position as to whether the actual incident that led to Max's death was intentional. And that may be why, in part, Coronado Police Chief Lou Scanlon refused to reopen Max Shaq Nye's case. Reporting from Coronado, Preston Phillips, 10 News.